it's almost 7 p.m. and I'm on my way to PJH for my PM duty. I'll be here in PJH for 12 hours together with some of my blockmates. And we're assigned at Ward 6 at the Department of Surgery. And here are some of the outgoing interns. Hello! So we're from different med schools, mostly from UP College of Medicine, but there's some from uh, San Beda, MCU, Our Lady of Fatima University, UERM, and even La Salle. Our job is to do all the orders from the residents, like blood extractions, ABG, and we're also assigned to monitor the vital signs of our patients around every hour. So here's my sphygmo manometer, and uh, my uh, pulse oximeter, and thermometer. At almost midnight, one of our patients who just had a heart surgery had an arrhythmia, and it came to a point where we had to perform CPR. And fortunately, he made it. We made it! We finished our 12 hours of duty and it's now around 7am the next day. I stopped by our dining hall and today uh, for breakfast it was a slice of watermelon, a hard boiled egg and two pieces of canned sardines. I found out there was an operation in the thoracic and cardiovascular surgery operating room, so I went to the OR to observe the procedure. One thing I appreciate with my surgery experience in PGH is that we get to see many, many cases. On some days, it's a classic cholecystectomy or modified radical mastectomy. And in other days, I get to observe uh, wild cases like craniectomies in neurosurgery or cytoreductive surgery for patients with um, cancer. And today, it was an open heart surgery. It was a Blaylock Thomas Tausig shunt takedown and pulmonic valve replacement procedure. next day, we had our small group discussion with Dr. Lopez. This was probably the only SGD where our teacher served us breakfast during the session. It was so nice to learn so much from Dr. Lopez. They say surgery is one of the more brutal specialties in medicine, where the duty hours are very long and the culture could be harsh. That's why it's a nice surprise to discover teachers and doctors who show us that the first thing we must always do as physicians is to comfort and care always. <laughs> 